bless his name this morning is worthy Lord we thank you there is no like you Lord we give you all the praise are you thanking Jesus this morning for the gift of life we thank you we we'll bless your name because you are good give him praise give him praise in Jesus precious name we are praying and the law appeared to somewhere in Ashilo. By the grace of God in this today, the Lord will appear to you. Amen. By this service today, the Lord will appear to you. Amen. I thought somebody will shout a louder amen. amen. I thought someone will shout a louder amen. amen. Shilo is not just a gathering. It's not a program of the church. It's a place of encounter. A place where you come and all the solution available. That's Shiloh for you. Lift up your two hands to heaven. I stand here today as a son of the prophet for this great house. The God of Shiloh will appear to you today. The God of Shiloh will appear to you today. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I love that special presentation by the choir. Will you put your hand together for Jesus? Man, I refuse the report of the enemy. That's a great presentation. A great presentation. I say no to him. I move to my victory. By the hands of God today, in this service, the God of Priscilla Canter will visit you at last. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now, before you take your seat, take a sheet of paper. Write only one thing that you want God to do for you in this service. Write it now. I'm not saying sitting down. Take a sheet of paper. Write that one thing that you want God to do for you. Quiet. You can, I didn't say you should go first. No, just, you have it in your head. You, you write it when you come back to your head. You are God from beginning to there's no place for argument. You are God of my own. You are God. You are God. There's no place for argument. to heaven by the authority of God the God of David the Yedeko will turn them to your testimony the God of Shiloh 
will turn them to your testimony. Amen. The God of David Oyedeko will turn them to your testimony. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Come on, put your hand together for Jesus. And please be seated. Keep that thing for yourself. Praise the Lord. Tell somebody, welcome to the church this morning. Toss him, you are welcome to this church this morning. And say to him again, God will attend to me. Again, my testimony shall be bigger than your own. Come on, shout hallelujah. In this Priscilla encounter service, the Lord will attend to you. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. This morning, by the grace of God, in this Priscilla encounter service, we're going to be looking at unveiling the wonders in the world. The force of testimony. Unveiling the wonders in the world. The force of testimony. Revelation chapter 19, verse 9 to 10. The book of Revelation chapter 19, verse 9 to number 10. And he said unto me, Write. Blessed are they which are called unto the marriage supper of the Lamb. And he said unto me, These are the true saying of God. Verse number 10. And I fell at his feet to worship him. That's good. And he said unto me, Sit thou, do it not. I am thy fellow servant. And of thy brethren that have the testimony of Jesus, worship God. For the testimony of Jesus is the spirit of prophecy. I like you to listen very carefully this morning. Listen very attentively. Because by this service today, every testimony of Shiloh you have ever listened to, it will become a person in the name of Jesus Christ. We serve a God who specializes in doing testimony. We serve a God who has no the assignment in heaven that to attend to you and that is God who is our we have a father who specializes only in doing strange work and strange art because of the saint of God Jeremiah 32 verse number 27 I am the God of all flesh is there anything too hard for me? God specializes in doing the hard troubles of life and turning them to testimony. That is major work. That's why I used to tell people, your problem cannot be greater than God. Never. We have a father who is major assignment in heaven is to turn problem to solution turn stagnation to forwardness that's what he said there, isn't it? Isaiah chapter 28 verse number 21 for the Lord shall rise up at the most present it shall be wrought as in the valley of Gideon that he may do his work his strange work his heart his strange heart that is the major assignment why we call him God. And by the grace of God, in this place, you know, a counter service, your own testimony will come alive forever. Amen. I thought somebody shouted louder. Amen. Amen. Let me tell you something, people of God. Listen to me very carefully. Devil is permitted to try. harassment of the devil they are not new to the saints many are the affliction of the righteous the bible says so it's about rejoice for I the law have conquered the world devil is permitted to try yes no problem but he's not permitted to win the battle he 
is not permitted to win the battle for the Lord shall rise up in comparison to Lord and he shall do his strange work his strange act by this service today the strange work and strange heart of God will happen in your life forever I thought you are shouting it louder amen I thought you are shouting it louder amen there is a force we call the force of testimony it is a mystery orchestrated by God for the freedom of the saint the force of testimony testimonies are real they are deliberate art of God coupled with the faith of man to have what you desire deliberate art of God testimony is God at work it is a force that people will not see your struggle but they can't deny the hands of God upon your life that's what they call testimony and by this service today whatever your efforts cannot handle the God of David will perfect it for you this morning in the name of Jesus Christ what is testimony what then is testimony it could be defined as an art of God orchestrated by him validated by the proof of the scriptures an art of God made by him arranged by him validated by the proof of the scripture that simply means every testimony whatsoever they are the product of the word of God that you receive there is nothing called testimony without the war all things were made by him and without him there was not anything that was made John chapter 1 verse number 3 every testimony whatsoever you can think of they are product of the word of God receive Isaiah chapter 9 verse number 8 a word came to Jacob on the mountain of prayer that lighted him and lighted the whole nation Israel the nation called Israel received their testimony by the war received by a man called Jacob by this service today a word is coming to you your trouble will become a testimony your challenge will become a solution for you in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ now Joseph went to that mountain to receive an encounter for himself. The man called Jacob. Jacob. He received that encounter that changed his destiny and changed the destiny of a nation. Encounter that changed his life and changed the face of a nation called Israel. Up to now, they are yet to recover from it. Testimonies are not make all. They are deliberate art of God. Coupled with the faith of man. Validating the scriptures. Validating the truth of the scripture. That means the word that you receive and believe is what we call testimony. Because what you don't receive and you don't believe, you can never be called. By the hands of God today, everything called difficulties in your life, the God of Zillow will attend to them. Yeah. I thought somebody shout a louder, amen. Yeah. I thought somebody will shout a louder, amen. Yeah. I thought someone will shout a louder, amen. Yeah. There is a story in the Bible, Acts chapter 3, verse number 2 to 6. He's talking about the Peter and the layman. Acts chapter 3, verse number 2 to 6. And a certain man, lame from his mother's womb, was carried. They used to come and put him there every day. Whom they ate daily at the gate of the temple, which is called beautiful. 
to ask arms. Verse 2 3 said, Who seen Peter and John about to go into the temple? Ask for an arms. He used to beg people for money every day. Verse number 4. And Peter said to him, Fastening his eyes upon him with John, they look unto him. Verse number 5. And he said to them, Unto them, Expecting to receive something from them, I used to receive from you every day. Now I'm begging, give it to me again. And Peter said to him, Silver and gold I have not. Mm. But I, I give thee that in the name of Jesus. Now listen to me. What I'm looking for there is the receiving the war. Maybe the people have been passing, have been giving him money. And they're telling me, Good morning, home. they drop 50 naira. Good money, they drop 100 naira. But he couldn't receive such a war. And Peter and John is coming and say, He saw the way they dress, looking gorgeous. I asked him for money again. He said, This one you have been sitting down with every day asking for money. Silver and gold, which is bigger than money, I did not have. But take what I have this morning. That in the name of Jesus, he received the war. He believed the war. And the testimony emerged. Verse number seven. And he took him by the right hand and lifted him up and immediately his feet and his ankle. Now listen to me. Somebody's here. By the word that is coming today, your problem is over. Your challenge in life is over. In the name of Jesus Christ. The lame man received the word. His testimony comes alive. Testimonies are not man made, never. They are deliberate acts of God. He used to eat, coupled with the word that you receive, validated the truth of the scripture. Validating the truth of the scripture that God cannot lie. And immediately, that man became a man like us, he walked and he was jumping. By the grace of God, what they thought would take you down, you'll be flying and jumping. I said, you will be flying and jumping. You will be flying and jumping. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now, how do we assess testimony to be a blessing to us? How? It's not enough to know about testimony. How could you assess it to be a blessing to you? Number one, you must be a child of God. That's the first criteria. People are looking for miracle everywhere. They cease not to seek the owner of the miracle. So they have nothing. Until you seek the owner of the miracle, and be part of the family of God. You are not a candidate to see testimony. It doesn't jump on people. You are not a candidate. That's why when anybody comes to me in office, I lead you to Christ first. I'm not saying you are not born again, but I will lead you to Christ first. To help my prayer upon your life. Until you are part of the family of God. Man. You are not a candidate for signs and wonder. You cannot see it. He said, let that man not think he will receive anything from the law. Because he's not part of the family. He's not part of the family. In John chapter 3, verse number 3, Jesus preached a direct message to the disciple. Except a man be born again, he cannot enter the kingdom of God. Except a man be known to be part of the family of God. He cannot receive anything. He cannot receive anything. If you are not known by God, you can't receive the things of God, which is the testimony from Jesus. Philippians chapter 3, verse number 9 to 10. I love that scripture. Philippians chapter 3, verse number 9 to 10. And be found in him not having my own righteousness, which is of the law, but that which is through the faith of Christ, the righteousness which is of God by faith. Verse number 10. I love it. That I may know him. Mm. And the power 
power of his resurrection <laughs> and the fellowship of the suffering be made comfortable unto them that what I may know him until when you know him and you are recognized by him what belongs to you can never be given to you until you are known by the family of God you can't access testimony there is no doubt testimonies are the heritage of the saints no problem testimonies are made for the saints to enjoy the eternal testimony no problem testimonies are part of the Christian life no problem but you must be known by him Daniel 11 chapter number 32 and those who know their God those who know their God they shall be strong those who know their God whatever is standing against your testimony by the hands of God today the God of Shiloh will swallow them forever I can't hear you loud and amen I can't hear you loud and amen I can't hear you loud and amen Sometimes ago in National State, God led me to go and meet the director of National State Polytechnic, who sent for me. And when I got to his office, he couldn't walk. He was having stroke, but then he has to be in the office. They carry him when he got there. Anyhow, he got himself to the office. And immediately I enter his office. He's a winner. He's a winner. As I was beginning to pray, God revealed to me everything that happened to him to that particular point. And I was able to be telling him one thing or the other. How he became, he had stroke, what happened to him. I said, your PA put something on this year for you. You cannot walk. And that is the first step. They are looking towards killing you. This is what you will do and what you do. He started weeping. Why? He said, he doesn't know that anybody can ever eh, told him what really happened. He said, exactly what I'm saying is what they have said everywhere he went to. I've never met him in my life. I've never met him in my life. He asked me one simple question. Sir, can I leave this condition? I said, very simple. Are you a child of God? He cried. Are you a child of God? He weep more. I heard his hand. And I said, in the name of Jesus, I led him to Christ. And I told him, I will hear your testimony. Until you are a child of God, what belongs to God cannot be for you. You struggle to enter your father's house. You are not a candidate for testimony. Ah! You are not a candidate for signs and wonder. You can't get it. It can't be yours. By the grace of God this morning, whatever is standing against you and your testimony is destroyed in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Number two, how can you assess the testimony of Jesus? Believe in the efficacy of that testimony. Believe in the efficacy of that testimony. Hmm. The testimony of Jesus is a spirit of prophecy. Until you believe in the power that make it to be, you cannot partake of any testimony anywhere. Every testimony here on this altar has the ability to reproduce itself only if you believe. Luke chapter 1, verse number 45. Blessed as you see that believer, but as I be a performer of those sin that's gone out of the mouth of the Lord. God has no problem doing it. He's concerned you believe that you can do it. God has no problem bringing it to pass in your life. He's so worried whether you can believe that he has the capacity to make it happen. Whether you can believe that he has the capacity to bring it to pass. Blesses is she that believes blessed is she the believer for that shall be what a performance listen to me there is nothing god has done before that he does not have the power to do it again that's why we call him god he has all the power to make it happen again he was he is and he shall be forever 
he was he is and it's going to remain while you are no more so he has the capacity to make it to come to pass now hear this one in Luke chapter 8 verse number 43 to 48 there's a story of a woman with the issue of the blood this woman heard that Jesus will be in town she made up a man believing in the testimony he has heard that this man had doing for somebody before he can do my own too we told the Christ with Christ she mingled she mingled and she received her healing haha <laughs> okay people say, oh if this thing is working like this we also can do it Matthew chapter 14 verse number 36 see what the people does Matthew 14 36 and besought him that they might only touch the hem of his garment can you see and as many <laughs> as many as many that trust were made perfectly old in Luke chapter 8 verse 43 to 48 it happened to a woman in Matthew chapter 14 verse number 36 people that were there saw it they did the same thing they believe in that the efficacy of that testimony and it come to pass also in their life don't just laugh over testimony they are prophetic seeds if you believe it can happen in your life don't laugh just over them testimony are not just to clap and dance no <laughs> it's a seed planted to everyone that believe they believe it has happened to one woman and they were there when Jesus wrought the miracle man they did it by themselves <laughs> and the same testimony came upon their life there are people who are here today by the grace of God if you can believe that trouble is over forever that challenge of life is over forever that problem is over forever his name is Jesus he has not changed he has not changed he has not changed he was he is and he shall be forever God has no problem doing his son he's concerned if only you have the faith that he has the power to do it he has no problem doing it whatever he had did for one he has the ability and the potency to make it happen in the life of another somebody is here today you're going down we thought to be a testimony for you I thought you would shout a louder amen I thought you would shout a louder amen number three receive believe in the career of such testimony receive and believe in the career of such testimony now if you check the ministry of Christ many people don't know it was never the only Christ that raised up the dead many don't know they didn't know Peter did John did they did though. they were in the ministry of Christ believing what Christ carried and the same other grace rest upon their life Man, the pastor you don't believe in you can't receive anything from It's not by age, it's not by stature. If you don't believe in that apostle of Jesus Christ, what he carry can never rub in your life. He has 12 disciples, but Peter, James, and John, they are classical protocol that did exactly what Jesus did by believing in the grace upon his life. By believing in the grace upon the life of Jesus Christ. Inside the testimony of Jesus, lie a multiplier effect that has ability to reproduce itself anywhere, anything. God servant Bishop Oedipo said to us one day, <laughs> If you do what I do, you will see what I see. It's a very simple statement, very clear. That if you believe in what I do, and the grace of God upon my life you also do what I do and you will see what I see so 
inside the testimony of Jesus lies a multiplier affair. The grace to duplicate is hell. I've done that with so many pastors. Where they will come in, come to a spiritual, come to this. I can't be everywhere. I say, in the name of Jesus, you go. The same grace. That's why I used to say most of the time. I didn't send myself here. My father sent me here. And if you are here on any assignment on the platform of your father, what your father sees, you are bound to see. John chapter 5, verse number 30. Jesus said, I cannot my own self do nothing. He said, as I hear, as I hear, it was perpetually under the instruction of the father. It was emphatically under the instruction of the father. That is why anywhere he found himself, he said, Father, I thank you. It's a reference to the owner where he carried the unction from. Come on. A reference to the one who gave him the grace. A reference to the one who imparted him with the same grace. And he believed the grace. By the grace of God today. And the apostolic unction upon my father. I pray for you today. Every mountain before you shall be level forever. I thought somebody would shout it louder. Amen. Amen. Second Kings chapter 2. Verse 9 to 25. We have the story of Elijah and Elisha. Very popular story. He asked the man. This man. <laughs> I want a double portion of the grace of God upon your life. The dad said no problem. When you see me. When I'm taking away, it shall be yours. That's a great task that he has the father. When you see me, he was looking perversely, targeting the time and the hour. And when the hour came, he received the unction. Mm. And he went back to the same sea where the magic of the Lord happened to his father. He did the same thing. And the same grace answer for him and the ten testimony emerged. Somebody is here today. By the hands of God upon my father, David, from today, you will lay hand on the sick, it shall be well with them. You will lay hand on the dead, it shall come back to life. In the name of Jesus. Believe in the career. I'm telling you the truth. I've seen so many people say so many funny things. Uh, I love winners. I love about prosperity. Prosperity, I don't like it. That's why they are not prosper. <laughs> That's why they are not prosper. They love winners. They love the way we dance. They love about every day they preach prosperity. I was ministering one day to a lady in outreach. I said, Come, he said, Pastor, which church? Winner. I said, Yes. He said, That church where they preach prosperity? I said, Can you go to where they preach poverty? Can you attend where they preach poverty? He said, that place, no, 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 no. Where they park so many cars. I said, it's your own part of the car. If your own is not there, you better rush to come now. Rush to come if your own is not there. It is what you believe that you become. <laughs> it is what you believe. Just believe. Just believe. Just believe. Just believe. A man came to me in the office that something walking all around his body 25 good years. Why he was waiting? Somebody else was waiting. He said, I was acting on to me. I, 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 don't. I said, receive it now in the name of Jesus. The thing left. He came to give testimony. The day he came to come and tell me the testimony, somebody else came with the same problem. I said, believe that the God who did it for that man is able to do it for you. And she returned to with a great testimony. If you don't receive and believe the carrier of testimony, you don't laugh over them for nothing. That's when they are not. <laughs> it's not just to laugh. No. <laughs> Did you believe in the grace upon that man that make it happen? Did you believe in him? Because grace are different. We don't have the same grace. What you have, I don't have. What I have, you don't have. But you can convert what one another have by believing in the grace of God upon your life.
there are people here today believing the unction upon this man whatever got trouble you are putting that paper the challenges of life after the service today good news will reach you I thought somebody will shout a louder amen. amen. I thought someone will loud a louder amen. amen. Number four, believe also in the ministry of the carrier. One thing is to believe in the carrier and believe in the testimony. Did you believe in the ministry of such a man? I've asked somebody said to me, Winna Chapel, it can never be there. <laughs> That's why you can't receive what they receive in Winna Chapel. Believe also in the ministry. <laughs> Elijah believed on Elijah and he believed in the ministry of his father. The same grace happened upon his life. The same grace happened upon his life. The day I did the Adinova in no worry. Quite a number of 38 pastors under me laying down and they say I will not go as you lay hands on them. I look unto them. I said the same way to walk in my hand, it's a walk in your hand. They believe in me, they believe in my ministry. So it works for them. Many of them are calling me now. They believe in me, they believe in the grace of God, and they believe in the assignment. That's the ministry, the vision that God gave to my hand. They believe it. Many have been knocking unto me several years. Nothing happened to them because they don't believe in the ministry of hacking unto me. They don't believe in it. Somebody said to me, it can never be to win a chapel for what? <laughs> That's why you can't receive what they receive in win a chapel. Can you imagine a man called Elisha? He was targeting his father. He was targeting his father furiously. He refused all distraction. He was focusing. That when they are taking the father away, he took the mantle. And he went to do the same. He believed in the ministry of his father. The same grace that answered to his father, answered to his life. I've seen pastors in this commission. That when you see them, there is nothing called Bishop Edebo in them. They are just coming to collect salary. They are there to collect salary. No unction, no grace. Because they don't believe. Every day they complain about salary. How much are they paying us? They want to keep. I don't know if I keep myself. <laughs> I can't keep myself. Waiting. Confident wife for waiting. From morning to night. Every day. Every day. How much? By the grace of God, I'm a product of grace. I've never lived on salary. I'm telling you the truth. I'm a carbon copy of my father. There is nothing that happened in his hand that has not happened in my hand. That's nothing here. We had 18, 18 is that testimony here. I think second Sunday. Without touching the people, only speaking the word. And people believe an instant testimony. That's Canaan. That's Canaan. By this unction today, whatever you have put on that paper, it will return with you as a testimony. I thought someone would shout a louder. Amen. Amen. Very quickly this morning, what are the effects of testimony in your life? What are the effects of testimony in your life? Number one, raw confirmation of the world in display. The raw confirmation of the word of God in display. You remember what I said as testimony? <laughs> The art of God in the life of man, validating the scriptures. Every testimony and product of the world you receive. So one of the greatest effects of such testimony is the confirmation of the world in display, destroying the hands of the devil by the world. John chapter one verse number five, and the light shone in the darkness, and darkness comprehended it not. Full confirmation of the word of truth. Full confirmation of the word of truth. That is one validity. Effect of testimony. The book 
of Mark chapter 16 verse number 20 and they went forth preaching and the Lord walking with them and confirming what? the wall with what? sign do what? follow him can you see? that is testimony now he gave them the power he was working with them in Luke chapter 10 verse 19 he gave them the power he stood by them he gave them an assignment in verse 17 <laughs> in Mark 16 20 he was working with them confirming the word he gave to their hand returning with signs and wonder following it's too much the whole town was hearing about it very shortly I've said it if you are not a winner you are a sinner we are coming to that in this town he said that you come to this church or you go to hellfire we are close to it we are close to it God does not make noise his testimony make noise following them confirming the wall we shall follow him he gave them the word he was confirming them one after the other turning to science and wonder now somebody is here today by the hands of god and the word that is coming your way today they will do change your name to science and wonder yeah. i thought someone would shout a louder amen yeah. Shiloh is not a, a garden of people no <laughs> a garden of the saints with proof to show that's Shiloh do you know the funny thing sir you can't reproduce every testimony they have shared in Shiloh in your life if you believe in Shiloh you can reproduce it yes the blind I see the lame and war, the dead that come to, to life in Shiloh it can come to pass even in your hand you lay a hand on the sea which shall be well with them <laughs> you say to the devil go he will go for you you say to the devil go and destroy he will destroy if only you believe in the ministry of Shiloh and the efficacy that brings Shiloh to pass. There is no old Shiloh. There is no new Shiloh. Every Shiloh is highly impactive. Highly impactive. Highly super impactive. If only you believe in it. By the grace of God, before this service is over, whatever is your heart desire, it will turn to be a testimony for you. Rise on your feet, everybody. Come on, shout hallelujah. Come on, shout hallelujah. Amen. <laughs> the first criteria. The first criteria. A man came to me in a worry. After I finished ministration, he said, he has one problem with me. I said, I, want, I thought I have even done anything. He said the problem is that you said in your message that God has never rejected your prayer. He said, I'm, 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 I'm finding it difficult to believe. He said, because I was in the service today. I said, but you have not even gone home. What is the problem? Why he was talking to me, his phone rang. I didn't know to me that nothing is working for him. Nothing. This is a man that contract, con collected contract, 50 million, 100 million and nothing happened again why he was talking to me and kissing me of what i said before he ran come to internal revenue the contract have been awarded for you why he was talking to me accusing me of what i said i want to say to you this morning listen to me god has never rejected my prayer i want to pray for people here this morning if things are not working it's not god it's your fault and it's not late to be right. Yes, one can go to school at the age of eight. You want to be free from the oppression of the devil. You want to say bye bye to the affliction of the wicked one. I want to pray for you. You believe in that prayer. All I close. You need those prayer right now. Put your right hand on your chest. I want to pray for you. Put your right hand on your chest. Let me pray for you. For you to be free forever. Say with me, Lord Jesus, I come to you today. I am a sinner. Wash me by your precious blood. I believe in you, Lord, that you can set me free. 
right now by my conversion and the washing of the blood i am free i'm a child of god his grace has rest upon my life i believe in your ministry jesus till i'm face to face with you thank you for saving me in jesus great name we are praying i can't hear you louder amen. amen now listen to me i want to pray for you everyone that prayed that prayer with me silently or loudly with your hand wherever you are just with your hand to heaven i want to pray for you i saw so many people doing it it's your life sir don't look at anybody it's your life now for everyone that lift up their hand to heaven move down here i want to lay hands on you move down here god bless you are you clapping for them right now they are coming they are coming god bless you don't look at anybody it's your life 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 are you coming a child of god i'm no longer for this great congregation this morning accepting christ in their life will you put your hand together for jesus are you clapping for him there's a joy in heaven everyone in front lift up the right hand to heaven just like this just like this i stand here today as a son of the prophet for this great time whatever is standing against your salvation i curse them right now amen in the name of jesus christ amen. he said whosoever the son has set free is free indeed from today you are free forever amen. from today you are free forever amen. right now receive your breakthrough amen. in the name of jesus christ amen. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' great name, we are praying. I have a special information for you. I need to know you, your house, and where you stay. So I can disturb you small coming to your house. We share the word of God together. See that young man standing there. He will give you some package. God bless you. Are you clapping for Jesus right now? If you are clapping, make it better. Make it better. Make it better. Why are stay there? Make it better for Jesus. Now bring out your paper you have your paper there go and take it and come back go and take your paper and come back you have your own good good choir yes. because we are going to dance on top of the head of the devil and make him mad more so that I can be destroyed so quick leave those papers to heaven the God of Shiloh you have done it once and again and again right now by the authority of god and the heart in the ministry upon my father david Oyedeko, under the liberation commission i pray for everyone today that believe in god and in this ministry receive your testimony right now receive your breakthrough right now Whatever you have in that paper, God of Silo is confirming them right now. 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 In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' great name, we are praying now after the service when you are coming on wednesday that's why you have to be here on wednesday come with this paper don't give anybody so that they will take your testimony come with your own paper and pray. we are going to make the devil mad ah you must change the devil this year yes, your testimony must come alive this year yes, in the name of jesus christ yes, now before we dance today's your first sunday here